Hello, Psychology Eats. What's eating you? Girl, Peach thinks she can fix herself by reading a self-help book. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if y'all don't pick my sign up. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Hello, everyone. I hope this video finds you in great mental health. I hope everyone is doing well. Thanks for clicking on to this video. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And leave a comment. So, uh, you know I'm a reaction channel. And I do reactions in the mukbang sector and beyond. And um, I've done plenty of videos and reactions to Peach. And this one is not going to be any different. And, you know, I don't do a video every day on Peach. But when, when, when something moves me, I, I, I like to get my little reaction in. So Peach dropped the short and she was at the bookstore. And she spent over $200 on a bunch of self-help. <laughs> ah, on a bunch of self-help books. I... I'm assuming because I don't think she showed the books. I only saw the shorts. I don't know if she made a long video. My assumption is that um, they were self-help books. And it's nothing wrong with self-help books. Okay. Self-help books as a clinician myself and someone who's worked in mental health for 30 years you know, we use self-help books to encourage our clients to help additional resources for them as they're working through whatever issues they're working through in therapy. But and however, Peach missed the step. She thinks that the self-help books are going to cure or fix or treat her mental illness that she doesn't claim. Now, of course, I've never done an, uh, an official evaluation on Peach. I make my assumption, my, uh, you know, I diagnosed her with borderline personality disorder. And that is based on her behaviors, what she, how she thinks. And that's only because of what she puts out there. And so based on that, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She got borderline personality disorder, which makes sense why she refuses to go into therapy. So she has a lot of excuses why she won't go into therapy. And so now she's trying to fix herself. She tries to fix herself with gambling. That didn't work. That only made her broke. Now she's going to the self-help group. I mean, the self-help section of Barnes and Noble. And she's hoping to fix herself by reading about how to fix herself. But those books are really a supplement to therapy and to uh, seeing a psychologist or a psychiatrist to figure out exactly what what is what is going on in my brain why do I think this way and why does this thinking lead me to all of these problems and I know she likes to blame her mother and her mother could be a source of some issues but at this point you're an adult and you have the means to figure it out through therapy um, and going and purchasing every self-help book in Barnes & Noble is not going to fix you, honey. Ugh. This won't, you know, Peach doesn't listen to anybody. It's, it's not going to resonate with her. You know, I'm hoping the message will get out to someone else. That that's not the way to treat mental illness. Yes, you can go and read some books and find some encouragement. You can journal. By the way, I do sell journals. What's eating you? Journals are available on this page. Click the link 
buy yourself a journal because in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing some videos on how journaling can help you um, get through all kinds of stuff in your life. And it's a it's a great way of expressing your feelings through written words or through drawing, through whatever. We're going to talk about it in, in the next couple in the upcoming weeks when my hand heals and I can write again. But anyway, with that being said, I bid you all farewell and good night and have a great weekend. To subscribe, subscribe say subscribe to Psychology Eats. Subscribe to Cowboy Eats. Not Cowboy.